Hello and welcome to Medicosis Perfectionalis. Our playlist now is pulmonology or pulmonary medicine. In the previous video, we have discussed lung cancer. Today, we'll talk about solitary pulmonary nodule. Solitary means one. What do you do if you just find one nodule on chest x-ray? Do you think it's benign? Do you think it's cancer? What should you do? That's the topic of today's video and let's get started. Solitary pulmonary nodule, what's the definition? One nodule, that's why we call it solitary, on x-ray in the lung, which is completely surrounded by a normal aerated lung parenchyma. So this is the nodule here, completely surrounded by normal aerated lung. If it's surrounded by pulmonary fibrosis, this is not what we're talking about here. Location, middle to lateral third of the lung. So if here is your right lung, it's usually here. Size, it varies between one centimeter and six centimeters, usually found incidentally on chest x-ray. Is it benign or is it malignant? This is the question. So is it benign or malignant? It depends on what? On the patient's risk factor, age, sex, medical history, family history, cigarette smoking, occupation. A 21-year-old female with no family history, no smoking, no symptoms, is way different from a 69-year-old male who has been smoking for 39 years and his pack year is 39. He has been smoking a pack a day for 39 years. He has a family history of lung cancer and he works in a coal mine and has been exposed to asbestos when the building fell down back in the day. The size of the nodule, the smaller the better. The country that you live in, example, let's say country A. Country A, when you see solitary pulmonary nodule, it's malignant in 12% of cases. Country B is different. When you see a solitary pulmonary nodule, in 49% of cases, it's malignant. I'm just making this statistics up. But of course, if you are practicing medicine in country B, you will take solitary pulmonary nodules more seriously. Calcification. Calcification is usually benign, but it depends on the pattern. So my mnemonic is calcification. Calm down. Just chill your butt down. As long as you see popcorn calcification. Again, it depends on the pattern. Popcorn calcification, those hungry pathologists, almost always a hematoma, which is benign. If you see laminated calcification that look like a target or bullseye, this is a granuloma, which is benign. If you see a dense central nidus of calcification, this is benign. If you see a multiple punctate foci of calcification, this is benign. The first step, when you see a solitary pulmonary nodule on a chest x-ray, ask the patient or look for an old x-ray and compare them together. Let's say that you have, you see a pulmonary nodule in the lung today. You ask a patient about an old x-ray or you check his medical records, you find the same nodule, it was there 10 years ago, it didn't change in shape it didn't change in size. This is benign. So management of solitary pulmonary nodules depend. Is it low risk or high risk? How do you know? Low risk. The patient is usually young, non-smoker. The nodule is less than one centimeter. Some people argue less than 10, eight millimeters. Asymmetrically calcified solitary nodule is usually benign. Not growing is usually benign. Contrast that with high risk patients. Old guy, smoker for decades and check the back here as we discussed in the previous video. Occupation and family history. The bigger, the worse. Non-calcified are worrisome. Symmetric calcification is ugly. Symptomatic patients are not fun. Pneumonia, atelectasis, or a growing lesion is usually malignant. How to diagnose if the patient is low risk? Follow up with a chest x-ray every three months. There is nothing on fire here. If after two years it's not growing, it's benign. Boom, end of issue. The high-risk patient, you need a final aspiration, CT scanning guided biopsy, we need to check this tissue, navigational bronchoscopy, endobronchial ultrasound or EBUS, or PET scan. Treatment, it's benign, do nothing. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Here you need surgery, wedge resection, or even removing an entire flicking lobe of the lung called lobectomy.
I know you're struggling to learn about Legionella, Mycoplasma, Pseudomonas, Rhinovirus, Staph, Strepton, Equiline, all of these nasty bugs. Check out this website called Picmonic. They have pictured mnemonics for medical students, nursing students, dental students, and pharmacy students. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and smash like. Follow me on Facebook. I have 100 cases there. You can get my slides for this video, my premium videos, my cases, my post notes, my PDF notes at patreon.com slash medicosis. Thank you for watching. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Until next time.